Hey, it's Gabe with Vitev. I'm gonna show you how to set up either your Flow or your Flow Plus on a standard size or standard style sink. If you have a wand style of a faucet, so that's the kind that you can pull out and, and push a sprayer button on or something, uh, then click up here, you'll get a different video. That'll show you how to set up that system, the Flow or the Flow Plus on that variety of faucet. But for those folks that have standard, this video is for you. So the first thing you do is obviously get your system out, set it up where you want it on your sink. I'll show you at the end how you can kind of adjust it and make it custom for your setup. But for now, just get it out, lay the pieces out, and you'll take off the aerator first. That's the end of the faucet here. It should twist off counterclockwise fairly easily. Um, just set it off to the side. If you're in a small percentage of people that it doesn't come off of very easily for, then the first thing to do is pliers. Wrap a little towel or a, a rag of some side, a you know, cloth or something on here so that you don't scratch the finish of your faucet. Give it a good twist counterclockwise and it should come off. If it doesn't, well then let's look at why it's not. Um, if it's a rust situation, uh, then you're gonna need something like maybe a WD-40 uh, to spray on there, kind of let it work down through the threading and the connections and see if that breaks that, that rust off. Uh, or you can run really hot water for a little while and uh, that'll kind of expand the metal a little bit and maybe be able to kind of break that seal just a bit for you as well. If it's more of a hard water problem, so there's a whitish green or maybe a little bluish tinge to that color, um, then those are alkaline deposits. You can defeat those with a little bit of acid. So some things like maybe lemon juice uh, or even a Sprite, uh, anything that has an acid uh, undertone to it or an acid makeup. Uh, there's a brand of product at Walmart called Lemmy Shine. You'll find it in the dishwasher aisle or dish soap aisle. Um, it's used to deal with hard water stains in your dishwasher. That'll work on here just fine as well. Just make a little bit of a pouch maybe with like a Ziploc bag or something and let it soak in that solution for a while and that should take care of it. But like I said, that's a small percentage of people. Just some tips if you find yourself in that, in that crowd because it's, you know, when you're in that situation, you, you need some help. But let's assume it comes off, you're ready to go now. Aerator's off to the side and now you're gonna grab what we call the diverter valve. This is on the end of both tubes. It comes ready to go. Um, this is what's gonna send the water to your new filter system and allow the faucet to work as normal as well. So the way this works is you just lay the tubing out and you connect it onto the end where that aerator came off. Uh, you see how I'm kind of holding it with one hand and then you twist the top just like a garden hose connection. Get that on there nice and, and snug. If it doesn't fit right away, if the connections are off, then you'll have a bag with a couple of diverter adapters in there as well. We use the three most popular styles. This is the most common, it just should just go right on. But if you have a different diameter, a different thread length or thread thickness, uh, then here's your number two and number three options. And if this doesn't work, Home Depot and Lowe's have other options as well. They're just a lot smaller number of people that need those and so we don't stock those as, as standard. Uh, but take the aerator, take the diverter valve with you maybe to the store if you can match that up there and make sure it works. But let's okay, you got them connected now. Now how does it function? Well, you turn the faucet on all the way. We don't have this set up the function, so I'm not gonna show that feature. Plus everybody knows how to turn on your water. But turn it on and you pull the stem on the diverter valve. That sends the water down the tube over to your Flow Plus or your Flow, whichever you have, and the water will then come out of the drinking spout. Okay, so let that run for a while until it runs clear. That gets all the carbon dust and some of the mineral dust out, and then turn off the water. When you do that, the stem's gonna spring back. This is an automatic reset. Uh, nothing worse than having your kids come to the kitchen faucet to get to wash your hands or something and have this valve be set so the water comes out here and you get a huge puddle on your counter, right? So this is automatically gonna reset back to make sure you don't have any kind of unexpected leaks or cleanup messes to do. Um, so automatic reset, you're ready to go. Uh, a couple things to notice as well. Once you have that water running clear and the filter's functioning like you want it to, um, we had to, to kind of make the filter up so the minerals performed well over the length of the filter life, which means initially you're gonna have a pretty strong reaction. So the first couple of days, you may notice some sputtering, some air coming out of the spout. That's all normal. That's just a sign of a good reaction taking place. It's gonna settle down as it gets some use. You also might see some dripping or some oozing, kind of some, a little bit of spitting maybe out of the spout when it's not in use. Once the minerals get wet, they're always gonna be reacting. And so again, as that reaction kind of tampers down a little bit, you'll notice that goes away. But just be prepared to keep maybe a glass or a paper towel or something underneath this for the first few days, or just set it up so that the spout is dripping into your sink. Although sometimes you don't want to hear that. So that's some tips there. And then the last thing is you'll notice the way I set this up, it's pretty tight fit, right? You don't have a whole lot of slack if you're moving your faucet around. So figure out where you want it, and then you can put this on any side. These are interchangeable. If you want to just move it, you can take the drinking rod off of this side and reconnect it to this side. 
And same thing for the, the spout over here, or the, the feed tube, can just go to the other side. So you can, depending on where you want it in your kitchen, set it up that way. And then once you get it there, use a zip tie or a rubber band or a piece of tape or a ponytail holder, or whatever, if you want, and keep that tube connected to your faucet and just give it a nice, clean, tight setup so it doesn't take up too much space on your counter. And I think that's it. If you have any other questions or some unique things about your setup, just let us know. We're happy to help. Give us a call, email, chat, whatever, like normal. Uh, and we just hope this video helps, and we look forward to helping you with your water solutions soon. Talk to you later.